Ron Paul's polling in second place in New Hampshire, and he's becoming so popular with the media these days. He's got one of his events actually short today. Paul had breakfast with locals this morning, but the place was so packed with reporters and photographers, he had to leave after just 15 minutes. Joining me now, Doug Weed, senior advisor for the Ron Paul campaign. Doug, good to see you. Hey, hey Tamron, good when, to see you. Since when did a candidate leave? Because too many media people have shown up. I've heard so many Ron Paul supporters say he's not getting enough attention, so he gets the media people there he gets the photographers there and he splits what gives <laughs> well we like the voters I guess better, I guess. better than the pundits <laughs> <laughs> well there's an answer for me so let me talk to you about where you stand some of the polls obviously show Mitt Romney with a, a pretty good lead even though he's ticked down a bit over the past five days but all eyes could be on second place according to the pundits what do you make of, of this concept that it really will be about who comes in number two we like the polls. We like the Suffolk University polls. That's the gold standard there in New Hampshire. They're showing daily movement. Uh, they released a poll Sunday after the debate showing that Romney had dipped five points. In fact, the headline <laughs> in the state column was uh, Ron Paul surges. We were up. And then today's poll, the very same thing happened. Romney's down again another two or three points to 33. We like the way this is headed. And we like the idea of Huntsman coming up, which <laughs> is the only possible <laughs> way to split the liberal Republican vote of Romney. So we're looking very good. We're very encouraged by this. We know from the numbers whoever wins this conservative derby inside the GOP nomination will win the nomination. Let me talk to you. A lot of people have been asking Congressman Paul about running as a third party candidate. I want to play at least his latest reaction to that question on Fox yesterday. Are you leaving the door open or are you not leaving the door open? I'm not an absolutist, but I have no plans. Everybody knows I have no intention, you, you know, of doing that. So that would be a bit of a burden. And besides, I don't want to do it. Is he getting frustrated at all by, by this line of questions regarding uh, the, the third party candidacy? <laughs> no, <laughs> he's just an incorruptible guy who just plods along and he's been asked that so many times and he's answered it so many times. But the Republican Party should be worried because as the Iowa exit polls show, he took 48% of the independent vote, 43% of the young vote under the age of 25. And uh, if they don't capture those votes and take them with them, they will not beat Barack Obama uh, next fall. So they're go it's not just what Ron Paul thinks, it's what do those voters think think and uh, they're going to have yeah. to find a way uh, to make them happy. And, and real quick, uh, he said he may skip Florida, but because of the reception he's received in New Hampshire, he's likely to continue on. What's the latest <laughs> no, word there? What no, that's uh, that's a misunderstood story. Okay. Uh, I've worked for Lee Atwater. George W. Bush has been my boss. Uh, Mitt Romney's guy, uh, Ron Kaufman, was once my boss. And Jesse Benton and John Tate are the best I've ever seen. And they teach us to focus on the next state, just like a football game yeah. doesn't start playing the BCS Bowl the first week. And we're focused on New Hampshire, and that's yeah. how that was read. We're not focused on Florida until the next game will be South Carolina, yeah. then Florida. And that's how the story was misunderstood. Oh, yeah. We're in this race to win the whole thing. And I get that, but the reality is when your football team has a schedule, you do focus for the next game, but you know that you're looking ahead as well. But I'll let you go That's with right, that one. but you shouldn't. <laughs> okay, Doug, thank you very much. Thank you, Tamara. And as we talked about earlier, Mitt Romney,